I've conducted an informal survey of age 70 plus Adirondackers and they universally agree that winters used to be colder and snowier. And many of them recall walking six miles to school uphill both ways as well. Which is why it's a shame that they didn't have access to these newfangled trekking skis. Because moving by foot over snowy ground, these skis may well be the most efficient way to go. These skis are different by design. They are wide, short, have metal edges, and climbing skins are built in. The bindings pivot up from the front like cross-country ski bindings, and the standard bindings work with whatever boots you want to wear. This allows for boots that you can be out in all day when it's really cold, and also for boots that work with snowshoes or micro spikes for hybrid trips. Altai is the company that brought these skis to market just over a decade ago, and several others have now jumped in. The Altai website says that these skis were designed as an all-purpose backcountry tool for wherever and whenever, and that pretty much nails it. It's also what makes them ideal for use in the Adirondacks. Our backcountry trails are twisty with rocks and blowdown. There are streams to cross and steep little ups and downs, and the snow conditions are constantly changing. Between my wife and I, we own a pair of the Altai Hawk 145s and also the Black Diamond Glide Light 147s. The performance is very similar, and after two seasons of steady use, both sets are holding up with no concerns. No ski is perfect for all conditions, and these are no exception. But the ease with which they move over varied terrain has completely altered my thinking on backcountry winter travel. As our Adirondack winters get warmer, with more rain and uneven snow, they look even better. Most important of all, these skis are a lot of fun. Thank you.